Hello everybody, this is JC Productions, and today I'm discussing the top 5 camping spots in Call of Duty World at War. Just keep in mind that this is my own personal opinion. I would love to see your opinions in the comment sections. And other than that, recommend other top 5s to me, and let's get into the video. So coming in at number 5, we have right before you drop down to the power in Doris, it's the bridge area. This is a nice place that I always find myself um, staying back at and shooting at the zombies with my Thompson, throwing grenades, good stuff like that. It's always a good spot to make sure you have your jug before dropping down, make sure you have enough points for your jug, and it's a really good spot until you turn the power on. When you drop down to turn on the power, uh, the bridge comes down and that spot is completely forfeit, so you're never going to be able to completely um, stick stick with this camping spot, and that's why it's number five. Just thought it was worth mentioning, because I always use this spot. Coming in at number four, we have the comm room entrance for Shinonuma. If you can't train on Shinonuma, so you, and you have no reason to open up the comm room door, if you keep it shut and keep the stairway closed, they come at, they don't come at you as greatly in anywhere else in the map, I find. And if I was going to camp on Shinonuma, this is the spot where I'd do it. The problem is they're coming from you at three directions, to your left on a window, straight ahead, which is where the majority are going to come, and then from the right, from two windows, and then any other doors that you've opened. So I just find that it's not a reliable camping spot, but if you wanted to camp, say in the beginning, to get it away from the dogs, just find a good spot to hold out, this would definitely be the spot. Coming in at number three, we have the courtyard in Doris, and... This is literally the spot where I spend 95% of my time in Doris. Because even after I've turned on the power, as long as you keep that door behind you closed, there is none coming behind you. And until you want to pack a punch, you don't need that door open. And it's the perfect spot because they're coming at you just from the top and from that little window to your left. But they barely come from that window. And it's just an amazing spot to keep going on. But... As soon as you need to pack a punch, again, that spot's forfeit. And you just can't do it if you're planning on doing everything in the map. But I love this spot, so that's why it is number three. And number two is the classic um, camping spot for Doris. It is the catwalk on Doris. Once you've opened up that door, you can move back to this, and it is the definition of a good camping spot you have them coming at you from the stairs to your right and then a window from your left you have two places on the catwalk itself that you can drop down and then a spot by the um by the window and then it's just this long line of sight and the only thing that can ever be behind you is the box there's a box location behind you and you can place claim you can place the bouncing betties there and it's always a fun time when you do this. It gets really, really hectic no matter what you do, no matter what you have. And it's just a really, really fun time. Now for the number one spot, it is the Grenade Room in Noct. And this is the tried and true, the original camping spot. And this is always a fun time. You just go with your friends and you say, Hey, let's do a quick knock game. Well, what gets you... What makes every knock game quick? If you camp in the grenade room, sure, you're only going to get into, like, 15s, but it's always so fun. You, One person got a ray gun, and then everyone else has, like, MGs or Brownings, and it's just always a lovely time. I always enjoy it. Had to go with the original on this one, guys. Uh, Noct is my number one choice. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. I uh, hope you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!